Chants for justice were heard all over downtown Odessa as community members came together to demand justice and answers for Tremaine Howell. 38-year-old Tremaine Howell of Odessa was stopped in Ector County after leading officials on a chase which started in Crane County. Howell, then arrested, was booked into Ector County Jail where officials say there were multiple altercations. The reason why he was pulled over was for speeding. These are the facts. These are the facts that are undisputed. No one can dispute those facts. When you get pulled over for a traffic violation, you should not end up losing your life. But newly released body cam footage shows what happened during those altercations. According to Texas Rangers, Tremaine Howell was then left in his cell for about an hour. They say when officials returned to check on him, he was unresponsive. justice system has allowed for the enablers of injustice to continue to persist. That is why Tremaine Howe has been murdered, um, placed in the ground for speed. Officials have since released an autopsy report showing a high dosage of meth in his system. However, due to circumstances, the family has chosen to conduct their own private autopsy. Those circumstances also leading to a three-day demonstration demanding more answers. In the behalf of Tremaine Howell, who was not only uh, pepper sprayed, but he was tased, he was handcuffed, and wrapped. And therefore, we know that's excessive force. Officers are never taught to sit there and do yeah. this. Yeah. Yeah. I know that's the truth. I've trained on it every year for 20 years. No human being should ever yes. be treated yes. in harsh, brutal, consistent The protesters tell me they are also fighting for peace, saying while it was Tremaine today, it could be you tomorrow. While cases like these are happening around the country, the protesters here in West Texas want to make one message clear. They won't stop until they get the answers and the needed change from law enforcement. You could say, look, that's not me. <laughs> that was Tremaine. I don't know Tremaine, but you know what? It could be you next. We are hoping for justice and that the law enforcement realize that it's not going to be continually tolerated. It has to stop. It has to stop. Although the community has come together for prayers and marches, they say this is not enough until answers are answered regarding Tremaine's death. In Odessa, for the Connect Network TV, Alex Valdez.